Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a Wednesday here in Melbourne. Of course, let's go up to our friends in Brisbane in particular and, of course, uh, speak with the under-13s uh, girls champions. Of course, uh, that is the Gender Lee Jags under-13s uh, girls premiership team. And, of course, uh, they won a premiership uh, about almost two months ago now. And, of course, uh, we've got some of their uh, team there joining us right now to tell us a bit about the premiership. Thanks, uh, Oi, for joining us. It's easy to introduce yourselves and tell us what position or you played on grand final day. My name's Taylor and I played in the centre. Uh, my name's Georgia and I played in the back line. My name's Eloise and I played in the middle. My name's Mia, I played in mids and backs. Uh, I'm Eleanor and I played in the rucks. My baby and I played in mids and forwards. Uh, I'm Estelle and I played in mids and backs. I'm Nella and I played in back line and forward line. Uh, tell us a bit about the season and especially um, grand final day. Throughout the season, we started pretty strong and I'd say ended pretty strong considering we were undefeated, including in the grand final. I think everyone improved like tremendously throughout the whole season and I was just very proud of everybody, especially after the grand final. Tell us a bit about the grand final itself. <laughs> and I guess, when did you felt that you won the game? I think, um, for me, I never really felt that we'd won the game just because on the field, the gameplay was so like intense and everyone was kind of going at the ball the whole time. So I think for me personally, um, I didn't feel like we'd really won until the final siren had gone and then it kind of sunk in that we had. Uh, now, of course, um, you all went through the whole year undefeated um, in the shortened season. Um, I guess, what does that mean to go through the whole year undefeated and win the Premiership? It means that our team was a very skillful, skillful team that we, have, we did win every game. And we were playing together as a team. We played well as a team and that we all worked together well and that we figured out each other's, um, figured out what we were good at and um, used to our advantages throughout all the games. Um, I think that we played as a team, but we also played as friends and enjoyed the whole season, not by winning, but just having fun together. And like, even though we were winning by a lot, we, if we still like put 100% in, just, you know, like tell no us, one came off the field. Like, <laughs> tell us a bit about your premiership coach or coaches. Heidi was our coach like the previous year, the people that played last year, and the assistant coach was my dad. And I think that both the coaches really helped us um, throughout the season this year because they focused a lot on the fitness aspect of the game as well as the skills. So we did a lot of um, like running time trials and five minute runs at the start of each game, which really helped us to dominate the other teams because we were so fit and able to move around the field. Now, I can see that Premiership <laughs> Cup uh, there. Um, there, I have to ask. Who held the Premiership Cup first? Um, well, I sort of stole it off Heidi <laughs> as soon as I could, but um, yeah, it, I'd say probably me and then everyone else got to share around with it. Now, I have to ask, um, what does that Premiership Cup mean to all of you? It's pretty good. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's and it means the big got something and I've been at the club for a while so it's like cool that I could achieve something. Yeah and I think there's some of the girls in this team have come from the previous premiership win but I think especially for the younger girls in the team it really meant a lot because it's kind of representing our club and getting to sort of win the highest achievement that you can. Now I can also see the premiership banner there as well. Um, now, I guess, how good is to hold the Premiership banner as well? It feels amazing to know that we did win the Premiership, that 
that we have come so far in the season and we get to go into another one next year. Uh, now, of course, you did also receive the Premiership medals um, as well, um, as well as the, I think you received like a cap as well, if my memory serves me correct. Uh, look at the Premiership photo. Oh, there it is. Uh, so uh, the question I want to ask uh, all of you is, how long did you wear your Premiership medals around your necks for? And did any of you sleep with it? No, I didn't sleep with it. I worked for us a couple of good solid a couple of hours. <laughs> Pretty much as soon as we left the game, um, my dad took it off me and was wearing it a little bit because <laughs> he played sort of throughout all of his teenage years and never came close to winning a premiership, so <laughs> he liked wearing that as well. Um, for a while, and then when I got home, I hung it up. Yeah, mine, mine only lasted the car trip. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to ask, I have to ask uh, this question, uh, which is, now, obviously, uh, when the Premiership is the ultimate, um, but obviously you go into a brand new season uh, in, I'm assuming, different teams, uh, I guess, What's the one thing that you're going to miss about this Premiership team going to next year? I think I'm going to miss the friendships that we made and how we work together in the season. Um, yeah, like all of these guys are moving up, but I'm staying down, so that's going to be sad. I, mean, yeah. I think I'll really miss yeah, all the friends that I've made in the team and like all of the parents group and these coaches and everybody that helped out. So it really felt like kind of a community in our team. Yeah, I think, I think that I miss the most about the premiership team is that how well we work together, whereas in a different team, not everyone has the same bonds to other people. So you know how well they play, what their skills are and what you know that they're not so good at, so you can help them improve. Whereas with these girls, you know what they're good at, you know what they're not so good at, so you can help them build on that. Now, I have to ask, um, how did all you get involved in footy and why did you choose it? Um, I got involved in footy because my brother started in under sixes. And I started Oz and then I went to under sixes and then I came up. Well, I started because my brother played it and I could understand, so I just gave it a shot. I have to play majority of my life. I started because um, when my dad was younger, he played for the Jags, so we came here and I did Oz Kick and I liked it. So I started playing. I started in great time because my teacher persuaded me to do like to start playing and my, uh, my little brother started playing as well so I decided to join this year. I started because my siblings were playing it and a lot of like people in school playing it and it was like um brought into help into school thing and so I joined that and then I started playing on that. I started playing AFL in grade four because my teacher started begging me to play because she didn't have enough players for the team and it ended up yeah, like premiership. Um, I started playing after my siblings joined the club, but like I also grew up like, watching AFL TV and during that like my dad and my uncle who played when they were kids. Yeah, and same for me, my, both my dad and my brother played, so I just thought one day that I'd give it a shot. It's pretty fun. Now, what's the best thing about playing the sport of football, especially playing there at Gender League? I think it's like the community and just having fun with your skills, not just winning, but having fun. Yeah, you can talk to anyone. You'll know them, like, to go around the club, even if it's, like, not your game. It's, like, some events game or something. And you're, like, oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's just people that you know everywhere. And it's, like, whether you, like, won or lost your game that week, you can still come to the club. You can be, like, people that are in your team come down as well just to support everyone at the club. 
And do any of you have any future ambitions in sport of football? Um, I think, well, being captain this year um, meant a lot to me. So I think in the future, I'd also like to try and captain another team. So I really enjoyed the leadership opportunities before. Me being vice captain this year, I want to try and push myself to be captain in future teams. Um, you know, like that the vice captain and the captain did so well, I would want them to be with me one day. I just want to continue playing for like <laughs> the rest of like as long as I can before I get old and like break my leg. <laughs> my goal is just to make it up to like the senior women. Your captain, your captain, your vice captain, uh, this question. What does it mean to be a premiership captain and vice captain and has it sunk in yet? Uh, I think it really meant a lot to me because I've realised after both my brother and my dad playing for a lot of years that it's like not a very common thing to win a premiership. So I think winning that as a captain and it being a a uh, season where we were undefeated, it really meant a lot. And I really loved the girls that were part of the team. So it felt really, I felt really proud kind of captaining them to a win the grand final. I felt really proud about being vice captain and being able to help Eleanor push the girls in the right direction. Yeah, I'm really proud of the team and being able to push the girls to get to where they are now and be winning a premiership. Now, what would, be your, what, would be, what would be your advice to kids out there, your age, that should get involved in footy, especially they're playing there at Gender League? I think the best advice is to just um, have a shot, just have a go, and um, because all of us sort of started just wanting to have a go at the game, and it turned out pretty well, so just come and have a try. Um, I think that um, once you start and... Maybe if you feel like you want to stop, just don't because when you're older, you might look back and think, like, what if I did stop? And you make really good friendships. Like, I didn't know any of these girls before I started playing footy. I got back to playing footy and we're really good friends. Uh, now, let's finish up quickly with a couple of lighthearted questions about the team. Um, firstly, who's the comedian there on the team? <laughs> um, now, I know there's this social media thing called TikTok. So the question I want to ask all of you is, who's the best singer and dancer on the team? Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Uh, now, did the team do a premiership TikTok dance afterwards? No, we did not because I did band TikTok in our team <laughs> after some people's uh, dancing at training. So I was like, we're not allowed to. <laughs> uh, who had the most embarrassing moment on the field this season and what was it? Yeah, I think there's uh, been quite a few instances of people um, getting full and being too exciting, kind of kicking it in completely the wrong direction. <laughs> we'll finish off with these uh, with this last question, which is, uh, and I'll get an answer from each you on this one, which is, describe your team in one word from each of you. Well, Oi, thank you so much for giving up your time to join us. It's awesome having uh, Oi on the show. Uh, from all of us here at Smash FM, congratulations on the Premiership win. You fully deserve it. And, uh, and it was so to watch your team in action uh, and following how your team was going uh, from here in Melbourne. And well done. And can't wait to see how it all goes uh, next year in 2021 for all of you. Thank you. Thank you.
No worries. And that's the Gender League Jags under 13 girls premiership team. Of course, you want to get down to Gender League for the, the following season and be involved in a premiership team in particular, of course, uh, of course, we'll put all the details up on on how you can go about being part of the Jags uh, family uh, in 2021. There's more on the Smash Sports Show right after this. Don't go away. Here on the Thursday edition. <laughs> 